Hello everyone, in this video we are supposed to talk about the features of sectioning and animating it. If you click on viewpoint tab and then click on enable sectioning, a cut plane will be appeared here that you can control its view in here. For example, top which is so functional, if you set it on top and then click on move, you can hold this handle and keep moving like this. As you can see, your project is being cut so quickly and so easily. Although if you want to do it in Revit instead, it won't be as easy as like this by section box tool. Alright, let's take a look at this one. This is the same project, you should select this section box. Now it's taking so much time that section box frame appears. And cutting it is a separate subject that I want to fast forward the video. Okay, when it appeared uh, on the screen, and you should select it uh, here. See, it takes so much time from us. One of the biggest features of Navis is lightening the projects. You can analyze the project so easily. So I'm gonna drag it down and then cut it. And again, it takes so much time from us. Although if you do it on Navis Works, it will be an easy job for us. All right, let's get to back Navis. So it is one of the biggest features of Navis so that we can cut our project like this so easily. And by these options, you can control your cut plane. One of the coolest things in here is Align to Surface. So if you select it and then click on a surface, it will adapt the cut plane on it. And we have the default alignments, as you can see here. And as I told you before, top is more functional than others. Now we want to animate this cutting the project. It's so easy, I wanna put uh, this cut plane at the lowest part. Okay, just like that. All right, I set a convenient view for it. And in viewpoint tab, you should click on save viewpoint. And you can choose a name for it, whatever it could be, it doesn't matter. Be aware of that if you change the view, it will affect on your animating. So I don't change it and let me drag it up a little bit, okay. And I save it again, so a little bit upper. I see this part for now, so I'm gonna save it again and a little upper. Now in this part, I prefer to zoom and turn around a little bit. Now it's better if I drag it up just a little bit, then uh, let me save it again. Now I think it's better if I zoom uh, more and so that I can see more details. Let me save it again. All right, after seeing the details, I'm gonna zoom out and save it again. And let me turn around a little bit, so save it again. After that, I'm gonna drag it up, save it again, and drag it upper, uh, good. Uh, okay, save it again. Assume that I'm supposed to go in and see the details again. I'm gonna turn around. Good, save it again. Try to save your movements part by part. Okay, let me zoom in again and turn around just a little bit. It's good, save it again. Then zoom out. For example, I cut it so that I could see the inner parts. Save it again. Okay, let me zoom out and drag it up. Uh, yes, like that. And let me save it, and here again, save it again. Okay, that's it, I think it's finished. Now we are about to animate all of them. And after that, you can edit it as well. So right click here, add animation. And after that, I select all of them, and then click on here, so drag them to animation. Be aware of that, we should adjust these views, so I should drag it here, let me change its place. I should substitute 1 and 2 as well. Now I think we're done. Okay, click on animation, play it here. Okay, see? There you go. It's just like that. You know, the adjustment of this project is on your control. 
I think it's not right. Let me pause it. Uh, okay, here. After 5 is 8, so I should put 6 after it. And 7 after 8. Okay. And 12 after 11. All right. Okay, let me play it again. You know, there was a problem with uh, movement of the camera. Wherever you want it to be paused, for example, on this view, view 4. You should right click on it and then click on add cut here. Okay, and you should put cut after view 4. And after that, right click on it, edit. So I want it to delay for 3 units. Yes. So let's see it again from this part. Okay. It keeps going like that. And as you can see, it's paused now. Well, about this leap, about this jumping, there's a technique for that so that it won't happen again. So in order to avoid it from 4 to 5, you should right click here, add copy. And then rename it to 4, uh, okay, 4, 1. And then put it after this cut. Hence, after and before our cut is a fixed frame. Let me show you. It goes like that. Then it delays. After that, it goes to the next view so softly as you saw it. Okay, and let's see the rest of it. So... We can use this technique for every part of it. And for instance, you are able to add cut in this part as well. And it keeps going until it's finished.